I would like to roll a death save because I'm unconscious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, no, I, I did say he likes near death experiences. I'm yes. fortune's favor that bad boy because that's a five. Um, and that was a natural one. Thank God that's advantage <laughs> and not a reroll. That's a failure. Oof. Okay. You know what? I said he likes a near death experiences and point is attempting to down uh, one of the players because I don't think you can get gems and points there and back in time. Okay. Next. Uh, Maven. No. Gath. Yeah. Gath. Great. So I can go into the circle and attack him, right? Yeah. No, it's my safety bubble. Uh, if, if first round no, is yeah. your safety bubble. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah. I may just uh, point over at... Um, uh, who's who's this uh, next to my boy Alicia? Oh, that is Vaden. Vaden. Um, I think I point over at Vaden um, and just make sure that I am in range, which I'm pretty sure I am, um, and say, um, "I'm so sorry about what's to come. If you want a sponsorship deal, I will absolutely give it to you." And as I do, my my hair starts to sort of like uh, raise uh, with static, um, and I think I'm gonna cast. Oh um, shit. Lightning bolt at you. Uh, if you could please make a dexterity saving throw of 18, please. Before the battle, I would like to have summoned my echo. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you the tiefling as the echo because I lost okay. your echo right now. So there That's you go. That's fine. Um, and then I want you to imagine uh, a dwarf rising into the air with winged boots as he uh, loses his balance and then flips upside down, but the boots are still holding onto him and he freaks out and then flies inward uh, 30 feet towards uh, the re the green door. Um, awesome. So, so uh, we'll make the first attack roll 26 and the second attack roll at significantly less for a 16. All right. Oh, real yeah, I'm, not, I'm not seeing your roll, so if you just refresh the browser at some point, we're good with this, but okay. um, moving forward. Okay. Fresh now. Thank you. Uh, did that second attack roll hit? With a 16? Uh, second, second missed. Uh, missed. <laughs> It missed yeah, it. No, it missed it. It missed it. it, it Wonderful. Missed it. Um, uh, then we will go ahead and dump a divine smite into this first one uh, with a divine fury on top of that. That adds uh, a lot of a lot of things happening. Yep. Three d six, two d eight, plus seven. How do you feel about maintaining concentration on haste there, Tom? Uh, <laughs> how you, how, just, just odds on. Before he rolls down, how do you how are you feeling about it? You feeling good? I'm feeling real confident. Thank you. DC 19. Hey, don't forget our 3D4. Okay, 3D4. Yeah. <laughs> Get him. I got a 22 out of the gate. Whew. Nice. Rolling um, I got a 17. Let me roll those 3D4s. I got a natural 20. Okay. <laughs> Um, that's a 17 plus 7. Yeah. For my, with my 3D fours. 5. I've got 40! Oh! 40 switch gap. Dang! Oh! 5 feet shy of the devastating win. Let's see what Eridus can do. Eridus, you're <laughs> up. The, uh... Do you have Long Strider? Uh, Long Strider have gotten you there. I don't think I had. No, I didn't have Long Strider. So Got I'm it. gonna use my bonus action to uh, telekinetically push Benzir into the <clears throat> scoring area, which she does not. Ha she can willingly take, or he can willingly take. All right. What is this ability, Eridus? It's my uh, telekinetic. Ability. Given all the good, given all the good minds, you know. Nineteen. That's Those enough. study lessons are paying off. Yeah, that's enough to grab a book. So Vogel grabbing the history. A little bit of grabbing, a little bit of stabbing. Uh, so a free action, throw it on my belt, a stow, and then just some light, some light attack. Okay, let's do it. Because it's a sun knife. But yes, your lightsaber is. is... 
sadly just go up to this bookshelf and I guess start pulling books off. Okay. So you all left me. Um, you were hitting us. That's, that's very fine. Fair. Legally, <laughs> I get to. That's true. Um, Only in this case. Best nice. Tom ever. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead. You, you've got to do the accent, Cody. Right. Uh, so um, I was... Uh, I'd like to run through the door, right? And um, then I do a little promo about my shop, and then I'm going to just sort of go, ah! and uh, there is the um, dimension door, and and so I pop through the door, and uh, here I am. I am at the. So I'm going to make the perception check. Um, I actually rolled performance for him. You're but a better it, Tom but than it, Thomas. But it, but, it, but um, that's, <laughs> I mean that's very sweet of you, but um, I I don't think I should take that credit. His perception is only a plus one, so it's a, so it's a 19 plus one for um for a 20. Uh, so he's going to have a a uh, gem worth 2,000 uh, gold pieces right there. Um, uh, and I and uh and I end my turn. That's it. Uh, that so... was heroic. <laughs> I love. Apologies, guys. Um, so, so fine, so fine. Don't apologize. Here we That's go. our job. We're British. <laughs> Tom, do you know I'm I'm sort of honorary at this point. I mean, I really feel like I I, I did you justice. I I mean, I do know how to queue. That that I think that should count for something. <laughs> I love it so much. I, I want you in my head, like, as an audio <laughs> deck. Uh, 